Okay. It is a great pleasure to welcome back to Cinema Showcase one of our finest actresses, Kate Nelligan. Kate, very good to see you again. Thank you, Jim. You know, in looking back over your career, you had a career steeped in the classics on the stage in Great Britain even before making a film. Do you think that prepared you in any special way for motion pictures, all that stage work? It's odd. I don't know how it, it all happens because we were trained over there in sword fighting and, you know, classical dance and we were doing, you know, minuets and stuff that I just don't look back on and think, well, what <laughs> were we doing, you know, because I don't, you know, there was never any video cameras in the school. There was no film cameras. There was no actual mention of film acting. I'm sure things have changed, but I'm talking about, I mean, I got out of school in 1973 mm -hmm. and it was as if there was no camera work in the world. It was as if the motion picture camera <laughs> had not been invented. Or they didn't tell you about it, didn't you, right? Yeah, it was like, well, they were still operating on the principle that, you know, there were some vulgar actors who did that, but we'd rather not mention them. Um, and I think it's a tremendous limitation. Um, it was, I'm sure it's changed. We were, but the good thing is that it prepared you. The whole standard was range. You know, you were judged by your range. Mm -hmm. You were, the whole training was about eliminating those things in your speech and your movement and your attitudes and your habits that limited your range. Somehow the opposite of what happens with, uh, with uh, classical American movie stars who you go to see because of all their mannerism, because of all, you know, what makes Clark Gable Clark Gable? I don't know. You can't get enough of them, though. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to see anybody else. But it's, it's, it's a very different different approach. When it comes to this kind of role of doing Lila in, in Prince of Tides, it, it stands you in good stead because, because you've, been, you've been taught to erase yourself. Was this, it certainly isn't giving anything away to say that in the Prince of Tides, the character of Lila, uh, you, you have to age uh, quite a bit because there are flashbacks in which uh, we see you as your lovely self today, and then we see Lila as somewhat uh, 30, 40 years later. Mm -hmm. um, for one thing, I must have taken an incredible job of makeup. I mean, mm -hmm. how long did the makeup take for you? The makeup on the days of filming was only about four hours, but we had done dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of tests. We had mm -hmm. done repeated tests and had tried all kinds of processes and prostheses and adding parts to my face and different wigs and different lighting and trying to save time once we got to it. Um, even so, we had to reshoot a lot. Now, are you one of those actresses who feels terribly helped by that sort of thing? But if you're playing a 70-year-old woman that, knowing that you have all this makeup on, does that really help you as, as far as the character goes? Oh yeah, it's the whole thing. See, my, my view has always been just look in the mirror. I don't know about, you know, anything else. Something happens to me um, when I'm doing Cora and Frankie and Johnny and I've got this big hair and I got a can of hairspray on and I'm chewing gum and I got false eyelashes on and, and I'm dressed in, you know, stiletto heels and spandex. I look in the mirror and she's there. I don't have to look for her. I don't have to go find her. I, she's right there. Don't, mm -hmm. don't travel. She's right in the room. Yeah. And same with, with Lila. I always showed up. I don't know. It's, it's, it's simpler that way. I mean, it's not comp... I don't... It, you see, to me, I've never understood the mystery people bring to that. If I got you up as, you know, Lila's husband, mm -hmm. or, you know, we spent several hours doing that to you, mm -hmm. you'd find... you'd find him there. Right, right. It's weird. In many ways, the character of Lila is, is central to the story of the Prince of Tides. Was she a terribly complex character to find the core of? I always thought, I just, I thought I knew her. She's a lot, she's a lot like my mother, you know. She, I had a mother like that. Um, I had a very driven, imaginative, uh, big personality, huge flaws, uh, who loved her children and damaged them. And and it was wonderful for me to bring part of her, not all of her, mm -hmm. but part of her there, is there. And certainly my, my sisters and my, and my father, my mother died many years ago. 
looking at her are going to say, oh my God, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can add, uh, you can add this role in Prince of Tides to an impressive uh, number of films, um, which I wish we had time to go into now. I like to talk to about which we touched on before. Films like Elaney, which will always be one of my favorite films. Beautiful, beautiful film. Thank you. Uh, so we'll save that for next time. For now, my thanks to you for uh, taking this time out and for the Prince of Tides. Thanks, Jim.